Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone. I'm an Italian professional photo videographer. And in this video, which is actually your video, I'm editing your photos. I was submerged by submission and therefore I'm gonna edit just a few. And keep in mind that this is just my personal edit and doesn't mean that it's better than anyone else. So feel free to let me know if you prefer the original or the edited one down in the comment when you see the edit. Now, all these photos are gonna be edited with my presets and my overlays. And because it's Black Friday, there's gonna be the biggest discount ever and I'm gonna leave down below in the description a code that you can get those at less than half price on my website so don't miss out and go check them out so without further ado let's jump right in and the first photo the first photo is from Stefan Okar thank you very much for sending it over I really like it so the first thing that I always do is crop the photo in this case we want to go for four by five which is the Instagram format and obviously put it vertical like so. Now, to respect the rule of thirds, I want to try to center her, but take as a reference her eye and try to live it on the top line of the grid. Now, for the rule of lead room or lead space, I'm going to leave more space in the front right here instead of the centering. So this will be center, same space here and here, but I want to leave a little bit more space in this way because she's directing towards this space. Then I'm going to click done. And I want to start playing around with exposure. So I want to try to decrease the highlights, but increase the shadow. Then we're going to increase the contrast. There you go. And maybe the exposure just a tiny bit. Then I want to decrease the clarity and also the texture, maybe also the white and create an S curve right here in the tone curve. So we create a point here in the shadows and then also one here in the highlights. And there you go. So we increase contrast and I also want to lift these blacks right here. So now everything that was black before is now a little bit grayish. But then we decrease this part. There you go. So we got the before and after. Then I want to play around a little bit with the orange, which is the color of her skin. Remember that human skin is always on orange. So let's see what we can get here, maybe towards the yellow a bit and then desaturate a tiny bit. But also I want to move the tint towards the magenta to make her skin looking slightly better. There you go. Now, one more thing that we can do is adding an S curve in all the red, green and blue channels right here. There you go, one, two, and then the third one, boom. Yeah, that we got some nice colors here. Let's see if we can play around with the blues, if there is any blue, yeah, there is a tiny bit. So I actually wanna desaturate all the blue and also the cyan, there you go. And then let's see what we can do playing around with the yellows. Yeah, I wanna I like it a little bit more orangey, so towards the left, and then let's see if we desaturate them a bit there you go. All right, the last thing that I want to do is actually touching the shadows and the highlights. So I want to drag the shadows maybe towards the blue a bit. Yeah, like so. And then to give it more a warm feeling, I'm going to move the highlights towards the yellow quite a bit because we can see that this is a very bright day in it. Then this is the before and this is the after. Now, the next thing that I want to do is open this one in Photoshop. Right, once I'm in Photoshop, I'm gonna use the Retouch Pro panel, which is a panel that allows to have some automation regarding portrait editing. In this case, I wanna have the hair and answer. So I'm just gonna click on top of it and then just making sure to use a brush that is white. I'm gonna paint on hair hair like so. So we got a little enhancement right here. And then also we're gonna go in Skin Retouch. We go in Easy and then even here, with a brush that is white, you're just going to go around her face and her skin like so. Yeah, there you go. And now we are going to decrease a lot the opacity and maybe leave it at 20% just to give her a little bit of a smoothness in her skin. Now, next thing I want to add, maybe an overlay, a fake sun that is coming from this way. So I'm going my epic overlays and I'm going to use a light rays. And then let's put in icons here and maybe we can put the light number four. Let's see if this one matches the color. We're going to increase the dimension, put it here on the left and then simply change the blending mode into screen. And there you go. We are going to duplicate this layer by clicking Common J or Control J to give it a little bit more yellow color. And there you go. Now, I just want to move this one right on the side a bit more. And that's it. 
So this adds a little nice touch here. Maybe if we want, we can also increase these layers even more to affect more her face and her arm. I really like the sun and this way because it adds depth. There you go. And then maybe we can add another layer actually. So we're going flare and reflection. Then maybe we can try using the number 12. We're going to put it on the right side of the image like so. And then even here, we're just going to change it in screen. Then everything you want to do is go in solid color here. And then we're going to pick a yellow just to simulate that this is the sun. Maybe let's pick this one. And then we're going to create a clip mask and change it to hue. Boom, there you go. Now, if we want, we can always change the direction and the dimension of this flare. So I'm probably going to increase it and put it in front of her. There you go. And now we have the final photo. This is the before and this is the after. Thank you, Stefano Carr, for sending over. All right, the next photo, we have this butterfly by hair underscore eye underscore underscore underscore. And in this case, I'm just going to go around and see if there is any preset that could work. I think I like Penny Fun. Now I just want to adjust it because the focus is obviously the butterfly, but now it's a little bit too dark. So what we are going to do, first of all, is we try to crop in and the photo like so. Now we have a very nice focus here on the butterfly and we're going to try to use select subject mask and see if we can detect the butterfly. There you go. And now we're going to increase the exposure quite a lot of the butterfly. Then we're going to increase the contrast and increase also the clarity a tiny bit and also the sharpness. There you go. Now I want to delete this part from the mask. So we're going to go in the mask and then we're going to click subtract. We're going to use the brush and then we're going to paint on top of this ugly tree that I don't really like. Nice. So we're going to stay again on the mask and maybe we want to decrease the blacks like here and also decrease the texture. So to make it a little bit smoother. Now we click done. And the next thing that I want to do actually is add a vignette so that the focus goes towards the butterfly and look at the difference. Actually, massive difference. Maybe this is too much. There you go. Now let's try to play around with the greens because this is the most popular color in the photo. And maybe we can add some saturation and maybe change it like so. There you go. Now look how the black is popping out from the image. But I want to also create another radio filter on this area and then decrease the exposure because I don't want the house to actually pop up too much. Now, one last thing that I want to do is maybe decrease the texture and decrease also the clarity in this photo. Maybe a bit more the texture and there you go. Next, I want to open it in Photoshop. Now, this photo has two main problems. First one is this house right here. Second one is this little brush, whatever flowers that is actually pretty ugly, but the butterfly is cool. So what we want to try to do is either eliminate these elements or try to cover them with some overlays. And I'm going to try to do the second option and maybe try to remove the house. But let's see if I can make it. I'm going to use some spot healing brush, some patch tool. I'm just going to speed up the process and see if we can make it or not. All right, I think it worked. Now, it's not perfect. You could lose a bit more time and make it better, but I'm pretty happy with whatever I got right now. Then maybe we can try to add a fake sun. Even here, we're going to use the number four that is coming towards this way. We're going to click OK, change the blending mode into screen and maybe try to place it here on top. Yeah, I like it a lot. Then we're just going to increase the dimension, play around a tiny bit with it. And there you go. Now, next up that I want to do is try to cover this one right here as much as we can. So maybe for this, we're going to go in film leaks and see if we can find anything that fits our needs. Now, I'm going to try to use the film leaks number six, make it bigger and then place it on this area, actually rotating it. There you go. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger. We click OK. We change it into screen. That's nice. Have a mask on it and then paint it with a black brush here to change the visibility of it. Then that's it. Maybe we can try to add one more layer again. Uh, this one, let's make it even bigger. There you go. 
then go and screen again and that's it now you want to do a mask again even here and try to delete it from the butterfly and in the other mask as well so that the butterfly pops up more than anything else i think that's it maybe what we could do is actually cropping in a bit more and also what we could do is try to take this butterfly right here and then we're going to copy and paste have it much much bigger on this corner right here there you go then we are going to add some motion blur so we're going blur and then we go in motion blur and then we change the motion maybe to 93 pixels have it in this direction and then we're just going to decrease the opacity quite a lot so now we have a little reminder of the butterfly. Now, from what we started, I'm pretty happy with the result, and this is the before and after. Obviously, going back, I would shoot it a little bit better in a different environment with less distraction and not this ugly tree, but I think we got a pretty nice result, all right? And this next photo shot by Rakeshi Shwanaf. So sorry if I misspell your name, but I love the photo. So really, really great job. Even here, the first thing that you want to do is just crop in in the image and make himself in the center of the frame. And then I'm going to apply the pitch black preset. There we go. And then I'm going to also use this function select subject. This is a new function in Lightroom that allows to select the subject in the photo. See if we can make it. Wow. Great job. We're just going to increase the exposure of this super muscly guy. I actually love it because it's super tense and I love the black background aspect as well. Now, what I want to do next, I'm going to click K to create a new mask. And actually, this is a brush and I'm going to go around this rope. And in this case, I'm just going to increase the clarity to make this pop Then increase also the contrast. There you go got the before and after for now this is pretty good i'm also going to increase the clarity of everything actually i also really like i don't know what are these dots is like the lens that is dirty or what i don't know but they look great so better like this next thing you want to do is open it in photoshop and actually i'm going to use now the spot healing brush to try to delete this parts that i don't want boom there you go and make the image as clean as possible all right even here in photoshop what i want to do actually is try to add a window behind so i'm going to use one of my epic overlays you go in shadow and maybe use the shadow number 57 so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it here and then change the blending mode into screen okay i think i prefer on the other side so i'm just going to move it like here and then rotate it boom right behind him obviously we need to decrease the opacity there you go. And then we can also increase a little bit of exposure in his face. We're going to click the brightness adjustment and then we're going to increase it like here. Boom. There you go. And simply invert the mask and then use a brush to paint on him with a white. There you go. And maybe even on his body if we want to. Done. There you go. But we're just going to do it in some parts so that we can add depth to the photo by increasing contrast. And I think that's it. Maybe if we want this shadow, we can actually smoothen it up by increasing the Gaussian blur of the layer. Yep, I think that looks great. And we got the before and after. Thanks a lot for sending it over. I love it. All right, the next photo we have take a shot with Jax. Thanks a lot. I love this. And I think we're going to do a great edit. So first thing, we're going to bump up the exposure a lot. And then I want to rotate the photo a tiny bit. There you go. We're going to crop it also as an Instagram, even though I really, really like this horizontal one. But you know, when we're talking about social media, we got to stay vertical. So even here, I'm going to leave a little bit more space in this direction rather than in the back. And you know what? I think I'm going to start again from this pitch black preset. I'm going to increase a lot of the exposure. Now, obviously, she's too pink. So I'm going to drag the tint towards the green and also drag the temperature towards the yellow. Now we have a very nice skin 
same color. So we got the before and after. But I do I want to do some more touch ups. So I'm going to create another S curve here in the turn curve. There you go. I'm going to lift a bit these blacks to have that kind of gray effect where the shadows are. And then I'm going to create more S curves in red, green and blue channels. There you go. Now I want to lift a bit these shadows right here and decrease the clarity to a little bit more smoothened skin. All right, next thing that I want to do is just select the subject here in Lightroom and give it a little bit of a boost of exposure. Bam, there you go. So now she's really popping up and I want to decrease the highlights or the white this part will be burned. And also decrease the texture to smoothen the skin even more. All right, now it looks great. Next thing that I want to do is actually open it in Photoshop and do a little bit more adjustments. Cool, here I'm going to use again the Retouch Pro panel to have a look and a little retouch these eyes. Now this photo looks a bit grainy because probably it was the eyes so bumped up quite a bit. But we're going to try to make it happen anyway. So we're going to use the iris button and then simply with the brush that is white we're going to paint here in her iris. There you go. And there you go. So you can see a difference before. And after, a little different, but it's super important. Then we're going to go in skin retouch. We can pick the easy. And then even in this case, we are just going to paint a bit on her skin. There we go. And decrease the opacity overall. Nicely done. And then we're going to go with the hair and answer. And then even in this case, we are just going to paint on her hair. There you go. And also we're going to go in the dodge function. We're going to arrange the midtones and then increase the exposure by 40% and also paint on her air a bit just to increase the brightness. There you go. Nice. And now they're popping up much more. One last thing that I want to do is actually touch up a little bit the lips. So still here in the retouch pro panel, we go in lips and then we are going to click on lip glow. And I'm just going to paint here white. Yeah, even here it's very most different, but I like it. Then the last touch ups will be about overlays. And even in this case, maybe we can use some film leaks to try to enhance our photo. So we're going to use the number 23 and see if we can make it work in our photo. We change the screen mode and boom, look at this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nice, we're just going to increase the dimension and put it like so. Then next thing is maybe we can use some reflections. I think this little dots will be perfect. So we're going to use reflection number 19. We're going to put it on the top right like so and then change it into screen. That's perfect. Actually, if we want, we can also change color of this. So we're going to use a solid color, maybe use a blue and then create a clipping mask and change the blending mode into hue. There you go. At any time, we can actually change the color. Maybe I prefer purple. Yes, this is perfect. Now, let's see if we can find maybe something else. And I think we can use also a reflection number 48 and create a screen again. That's perfect. Just make sure that this is not on her eyes. Maybe this, this is fine. And there we go. Now we have the border right here. So what we do is just create a mask, black brush and simply paint here with a black brush. And there you go. Now I want to paint also away from this film lakes a bit from her face so that it's a little bit more punchy. And there you go. This is the before and after. Thanks a lot. Take a shot with Jax for this amazing photo. And this was my last edit. Once again, if you want to check out the presets and the overlays with this code, you're going to have less than half price for the Black Friday week. If you want to check out the previous episodes of the series, I'll leave right here the episode number two, where I edit again your photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.